Hi guys, hope you're doing well. So today I decided to do a naked eye look and it's featuring this. Uh, I talk a little bit, or well really, I talk through the video so I hope you don't mind. Let me know if you like it like that, a bit more chatty or voiceover, however you like. I wasn't planning on actually uploading this video so it's a little bit more raw um, but I hope you enjoy it regardless and let me know what you think. Take care guys, bye! So bear with me, um, I think my head will be cut off a little bit, but <laughs> you don't see everything. <laughs> uh, I don't even know if I'm going to post this, so we'll see. So the Creme de la Mer lip balm, Charlotte Tilbury mini miracle eye wand. So I put the number one, which is the eye cream, and then the number two is kind of that sort of lighten and brighten concealer. I think I should turn down my music because I don't want to, to do a violation. My nails are all chipped, so excuse me. <laughs> okay. Um, then I have my Burberry. This is the number 204 Velvet Foundation in Trench. And I've got a damp beauty blender. And I'll do two for one and a half pounds really actually. I really like this foundation but I've just bought the NARS Sheer Glow. I haven't used that in like years and it was really amazing back then and um, I also had really nice skin back then. As you can see I had a lot, I have a lot of blemishes from stress. Um, but look this just like covers it nicely with your skin still showing through. It's full coverage, but it just gives a beautiful skin finish. I just want it to be even. I don't want it to be like perfect. That makes sense. Okay, so I have my makeup bag here, by the way. That's what I'm picking out. Then I've got my brow archery from... Or no, it's just Artery, I guess, <laughs> by Soap and Glory. And this is in the colour Brownie Points. So I like to do my eyebrows first. They do need threading. I used to get them waxed all the time. Um, threading is really popular and it gives you a nice sharp line. But I once had Anastasia from Beverly Hills do my eyebrow. Well, actually, she advised on my eyebrows. She didn't have time to do mine and she told me off. <laughs> I used to tweeze back then though, and she she was like, never tweeze your eyebrows, and she was like, only wax, I was like, okay, so then after that I found a really beautiful place in, um, it was actually in the Nordstrom department, the Anastasia bit, she um, used to wax my eyebrows perfectly, um, but obviously after that I've moved, and I don't really find any um, good places around where I live so um, but the place that tweeze do really well so I mean not tweeze thread okay so that's it so I know I could fill it in a little bit better maybe I will just doing this video but for every day I kind of keep it as it is um, I don't I don't want to look too like I don't want to say perfect because I'm far from it, but I don't want to look too made up. So I'm just using the natural collection. It's the um, powder that I really like from Boots. And I only saw one colour, so it's not very um, versatile. But um, it looks like that. It says brow kit. That's all it says. So I don't. I don't that's not going to work for a blonde. But because I have dark roots, I think it's um, you know obviously it's still fine. And then I have the Bye Bye Pores by It Cosmetics. It's a pressed finishing powder, and I pretty much look. I pretty much finished it. I, I'm not even talking properly. I have not finished that. I've hit pan. And then this is the It Cosmetics brush, but the glues come off. Um, 
I just have to glue that back on. So I kind of set my foundation. And I really like this as a setting powder. It does give like a little bit of a white cast. I'm very little, but I mean, you can definitely tell. But um, it goes away. And it just, it just sets things nicely. And then the Brow Duality from Anastasia. I use this as my waterline, not as my eyebrow, uh, underneath my eyebrow anymore. So if you are, then definitely clean it before using it because you're using it on your eyes. Um, I put NARS Pro Prime eyeshadow on before I started recording this video because I wasn't sure if I was going to do anything. And then my Natural Matte Palette by Too Faced, which is my favourite. I'm just going to go in with a um, sort of a fluffy brush. This is the MAC. Oh, it's all rubbed off now, but I feel like it's the 216. Or it's like basically a fluffy shading brush. And I go into Nudie and I just mark out my crease. As you can see, I just do things here, there, and everywhere. It's not, um, so I did a bit of my face, then I do my eyebrows, then I do my eyes. I'm like kind of all over the place um, because I like to go by how much I need to complete my look. So once I've done my eyes, then I kind of know if I really want to do like a bronzer highlight contour or if I just want to do a blush and so on and so forth. So I kind of bring it up over the crease a little bit just to shade and kind of make it a little bit more hollowy. I really like this look at the moment. It's a very like naked eye. I hope you can see this. I hope my lighting's working nicely because I bought a new light. Um, and then I use like a little shading brush like this and I go into chocolate cookie and it is a brown with like a ready tone to it and I just fill the lower lash line just a little bit and then I use this as my main eyeliner and it gives such a nice contrast so right now I don't have anything on the lid of my eyes apart from the NARS Pro Prime eyeshadow base And then I wing it, just a little bit. God, I hope that's in focus. There, I hope that's... God, I look so harsh on the camera, I look so ugly. Um, and then with a flat brush, this is from MAC, but I don't know what the numbers are. Two... I don't know, it's just like a flat eyeshadow brush. I'll go into um, Lace Teddy, which is a really nice highlighter. It's a pinky salmon colour, and I just tap the lid. I tap over the lid, basically. I cannot speak. And that just kind of brightens up a little bit more. And then I just go underneath my eyebrows, really like a smidgen. Not really. Like, I don't want to make it like a highlighter as such. And that is it. I will just put um, my mascara on. So let's do that. I'm using the Lancome Hypnosis, the original formula. I got this mirror from Amazon. Um, I'll link it down below. I like it. It's battery operated as well. Let me know if you want more like chit chatty videos um, or talk throughs or do you want just voiceovers. Let me know how you like it. I wasn't planning on doing this and let's just see how it goes. I haven't done a makeup tutorial in a while and I've been promising it for so long but I just don't have time. Um, but if I've got this set up now and now that I've got this light I think um, I think it could be very different so if I get good feedback so I like this mascara because it lengthens 
and it also gives a good curl to my lashes so I feel like you can see them a lot more. I think in a lot of my videos, <clears throat> also the lighting, but I think in a lot of my videos my lashes just went straight out so you couldn't really tell. Okay. And then finally I will do a bit of um, blush and bronzer. So I will use the Sigma Tapered Highlighter brush. Oh, yeah, for my blush. And this is F35. I'm using the Ciate by Olivia Palermo. This is the bluff point. And I do it on top of my cheeks. And then with that same one, I, I go into the bronzer and just put it down. Down there and across my forehead a little bit. And then definitely under here. I, ha I have all these lines here and people are saying to fill them. And that works really well to get rid of those. Has anyone done that? Not sure if I'm really into all that stuff but it does it does bother me because I am a slim girl um, so it kind of annoys me and sometimes I add a bit of highlight this is the Becca uh, opal and I just put this right on my cheekbone the top parts of my cheekbone such a beautiful highlight isn't it so pretty I really like it and then I'm just using the Sigma Precision Flat P80 and I just stamp it on and then kind of rub it in it's more to give not my cheekbones a highlight but just around my eyes so there you can see it's a really pretty highlight right and then makeup forever mist and fix And then with that same, um, or with this one I guess, I'll do the MAC 167, it's a short handle brush. I'll just kind of like get rid of the excess mist spray, kind of stamp it on my skin. Oh, my favourite part, lipstick, hello, what should I do? Oh, I'm going to do... <laughs> I am going to do the Colourpop Lippy Sticks in Contempo, which is a matte. Um, first of all, I'm going to use this Estee Lauder. I really like this double wear lip pencil, and I think it's in number four rose. It just makes my lips look a little bit more pink. And I just line it very carelessly, to be honest. And this is this shade, the Contempo. It's a bright sort of rose. There we go. And so it's just like a natural, like, work naked eye. But then it has that lipstick that's nice and bright. What do you think? My hair is kind of third day hair though. Do I need to do anything else? I don't think so. It's supposed to be just like a bare or a naked eye, but a little bit more. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.